577 in progress. Five seventy seven complete. Mr. Nash, could you come over here for a second? We need to talk. Dr. Kanaan just... Hold on! Hold on! One second. Tip, what the hell? What are you trying to do? Don't you remember what happened to Vic? You want that thing to explode in your hands? You want to lose your fingers? Put it back right now. Until you get some new cartridges, no one touches the shotguns. We agree. Aw, oh, come on. I'm not gonna shoot it. I just wanted to use it to scare old Kleiner. <laughs> Wanna see that stubborn idiot shit himself? Yeah, he's probably going around in diapers. You seen that fossil recently? You don't think- I he... am not listening. Just put that thing back. Damn it, Lily. Stop acting like you're everybody's mother. I'll stop playing, mother, when you idiots stop acting like children. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a bundle. You won't be talking like that after I- What's your name, son? Tip Rami, sir. Why do you need a shotgun, Tip Rami? To frighten an old man named Herman Kleinert, sir. He's a local cobbler. Mm, the thing is, sir, the old man's grandson, Matthias Kleinert, recently raped a schoolteacher, and now no one knows where he is. I'm sure, sir, I mean, everyone is sure, that old Kleinert is hiding his grandson somewhere. We tried talking to him, but it got us nowhere. To be honest, sir, the grumpy old maniac just stood in his door waving his gun, so talking just isn't going to work. Uh, I want to squeeze the old dirtbag, sir. Squeeze him good and get him to talk. Kleinert's gun shoots salt. Salt? That's right, sir. Salt. But what's the difference? I'm not saying he was going to shoot me. I just wanted to scare the old goat, you know? It's not like I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> Probably. When you joined the sheriff's department, they gave you a gun, right? Of course, sir. But who's scared of a tiny little pea shooter? Everybody in Sharpwood has a gun. 
What else did they give you? I'm sorry, sir? When you entered service, what else did they give you? Uh, I was given... issued a uniform, sir. What else? Uh... a radio? And that's it? Uh... and a knife. This knife? That... that that's correct, sir. Big, huh? I... I... I guess so, sir. What do you think, son? Think you could scare somebody with your big knife? I don't... I don't know, sir. Well, think about it. Here you have a big, shiny piece of cold steel, nice and sharp, and you're holding it right to some bastard's neck. You bring it so close that one careless movement and you'll open an artery. But let's say you haven't lived such a clean life. You like to drink, so your hands are a little shaky. They shake all the time. If not today, then maybe tomorrow you'll slice someone open by accident. You think that's scary enough, son? Yes, yeah, yes, sir. It's very scary, sir. Well, then what do you need a shotgun for, son? I... I'll put it back, sir. I'll put it back right now. Well, what are you waiting for? I have work to do. Can I go? Yes, I just wanted to... Come to my office in the evening, before you go home, okay? Okay. I. Five fifty one in progress. Fifty one complete. Five thirty in progress. Five eleven in progress.
511 complete. Five thirty complete. Five twenty in progress. Five forty in progress. Five twenty complete. Five forty complete. So, you want to talk? Yeah, I, um, well, before, before I, 
Well, thanks for helping me this morning with Chip. Sometimes he just... Anyway, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. It's very serious. I mean it. It's serious. As far as I understand, yesterday you had some kind of... some kind of altercation with Charlie Fletcher. Dr. Canaan called me and... Well, Fletcher's gonna be okay in a couple of days. It was nothing serious. But I don't want this happening again, all right? I can't promise you that. I... I don't understand. I said that I can't promise you that nothing like that'll happen again. Listen, Jack. I don't like Fletcher either. It's but... not Fletcher. I will treat my subordinates as I see fit. That's what I mean. But, Jack, there are boundaries. I, as the sheriff, I draw those boundaries, okay? I respect your experience. I do, and I... I just want to say there are rules that must be respected, and I believe that these rules are an integral part. A part. You know, I believe we understood each other, and there won't be any more problems, right? Why am I here? I'm sorry? Why am I here? Well, because I, I, because I asked you to come and talk, and I... No, no, not here in your office, but in general, here. What am I doing here? Why am I here, Lily? Because you... Because you got into a difficult situation, and now... I'm helping you steer the department. Look, I could run. I might go to jail, but I'm here. Why am I here, Lily? We could call it a mutually beneficial deal because... Why, Lily? It's a simple question, and the answer is also simple. Why am I here? Jack, I don't know what you... Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Some bearded old man with fake documents strikes up a conversation with you, and suddenly he's... Jack, please, you know how much this... Becoming the sheriff's right hand. Actually doing all the work of the sheriff. How does that happen, Lily? Come on, tell me. Jack, I'm begging you. The answer is already in your head. I just want you to say it, Lily. Say it out loud. Why am I here? I'm begging you. Say it. Just... Why am I here? Because I'm a shit cop, right? I'm a shit cop. I can't do anything. Shit cop, shit cop, shit cop. Without you here to help, it would be the end. You wanted me to say that. Is that what you wanted? Are you satisfied now? I'm very satisfied, Lily.